What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Andy. Oh, I haven't said that in a long time because that's what I say on my other channel. Today we're going to be doing a clothing haul. I've never done a clothing haul before, but I've tried out some Christian clothing brands that I'm super excited to review. I want to start out by giving you all my basic details because these are t-shirts and they're like men's t-shirts, so I had to kind of order. I couldn't really just order my own size. I had to consider like what I would be in men's. So I am a female, obviously. Yeah. Um, 5'6", and 135 to 140 pounds. So I'm like very medium. Like when I order women's clothing, I pretty much always am like a medium. Every once in a while I'm large. Every once in a while I'm a small, but usually like a typical true medium. I have medium sized boobs, medium sized butt. So so the shirt I'm wearing right now is from Shein. It kind of has like these puffy sleeves. It gives me very much like lab coat vibes. It's kind of cute, but I'm gonna be trying all the shirts on with shorts, which are the shorts that I'm wearing right now. They're kind of like, you know. I really have been playing around with my style lately as a Christian and kind of like I don't want to say a new Christian, but I'm definitely taking Christianity more serious than I have before ever. Um, so I'm kind of like a new Christian in that aspect. I'm, I want to learn how to be a little more modest. I, in the past, was not very modest at all. And I kind of have mixed feelings when it comes to like always dressing modest and like modest clothing. I think modest clothing is really beautiful, actually. Um, for a while, I struggled with the concept because I didn't like feeling judged. I didn't like feeling bad about the things that I was wearing. I didn't like, first of all, I don't even like wearing clothes what? that much that are like more modest. Like I am definitely a tank top and jean shorts kind of girl all year round basically. I live in Arizona so it's very hot here. Like literally 120 degrees outside sometimes. So I was like how, like there's no way I'm wearing pants in the summer. Like absolutely not. I'm going to keep wearing shorts. But I think sometimes modesty, it kind of just depends like where you live, what situation you're in. Um, and it, it brings just a little bit more elegance I think to an outfit. So that's kind of the way I like to think of it now. Instead of being just like modest and covered up and not showing sinfulness um i like to just think of it as a little more elegant a little more stylish and even a little more put together like there's a little more thought going into my outfits now now these clothing that i'm about to show you the shirts that i'm about to show you they're not necessarily like elegant and classy but they are t-shirts and t-shirts really are clutch like especially when you're trying to dress a little more modest i feel like it really makes all the difference um, especially like, like I said, I live in Arizona, so we wear shorts here. Everybody wears shorts here. Nobody is like batting an eye about it. Nobody cares. <laughs> I mean, probably don't wear the booty shorts on church day, but like 99% of the time, if I run into you at the store, nobody is going to be like, oh, look at her, a little heathen. No, <laughs> they're going to be like, I get it. Um, they'll, they'll probably be dressed in, you know, short or tank tops as well so so I like the t-shirt vibe it's kind of new to me I also didn't know how to order them properly like I didn't know what size I would be in because typically when you order t-shirts they're gonna be in men's sizes so I didn't want like too big of stuff I didn't want too small of stuff so I finally nailed it so let's just get into it okay so this first package is from the brand called in him or it's it's n-h-i-m so it's like in him this was a really cool brand i there was one shirt in particular that i really kept seeing on my instagram feed like on the ads and i really really liked it and so finally they had a sale and i was able to like get a little discount it was the memorial day sale so my first impression is there's like no branding on the package it's very like boring <laughs> okay so i actually did get into this box like you'll see this is the stuff right here so this one is nice this is how the shirts came they all come in their each like individual bag i ordered a size small in all of these t-shirts and i found out that this is the size for me i've ordered extra smalls in men's and i didn't like the way they fit they were too form-fitting um and they didn't really have that like t-shirt look so a small is the perfect t-shirt size for me so this is the first one and the other one like i said i already opened so i'll try this one on first so this is what the t-shirt looks like. It says Emmanuel, and then it also has it written in Hebrew as well. So I think that's really cool. Emmanuel, it means God with us. And then, you know, the back 
kind of says that too. It's a little wrinkly because I've worn this shirt. Like I wear it all the time. I'm so excited to have t-shirts now that I can kind of just wear. I wear it to the gym. I wear it like wherever. It's such a clutch shirt. I just really like it. And I think it's like, I think the way it looks is so cool. Like I feel like people would do a double take almost and be like, oh wait, is that a... Is that is that a is that repping gang here? Like is this a this is a god shirt? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is what the t-shirt looks like on. I think it's really cute. It comes to like, you know, a good length. And it's like just the right size for a t-shirt for me. Like I said, when I order a men's extra small, it's kinda like more form fitting and although form fitting is nice i feel like because of the boxiness of like men's cuts on t-shirts it, it like doesn't really look that good so the small is just like that perfect fit and this is washed so you know it's shrunk as much as it'll shrink i'll show you the new one and maybe the new one might look a little different but it just fits pretty perfect for like a t-shirt size the quality of this shirt is kind of it's not as soft as I thought it would be, but that's okay. I feel like over time, you know, obviously it's gonna like wear really nicely. Okay, so the next shirt is this really pretty purple color. Um, it smells good. <laughs> and this one is brand new, so it still has the tag on it. Um, I haven't worn it yet. I haven't even took it out to look at it yet, so super exciting. Um, and then this is the back. I like that it kind of looks like a little washed, a little worn already. And it's got like the angels. I feel like it's very trendy, you know, no, like I said, people are gonna have to double take and be like, oh wait, is that like, that Like that shirt really has something going on. It has a little message to it. Versus like I've seen some Christian brand apparels and they're so just like forward and in your face. And sometimes that could be a vibe, but I, I like these ones because they're super relaxed and I'm not gonna feel like that like odd Christian out, you know, like the, the sore thumb type of Christian. Which I mean, sometimes we've gotta be that and that's okay, but. So it says, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. And then it says like heavenly hosts down here. And then it says in him apparel California. It doesn't actually say what verse this is, but I'm sure it's a verse. So let's try it on. Okay, so this is what it looks like on. I think it's pretty cute. The purple is a little more like muted than I want it to be like it's a little more cool tone and I am a warm tone person so sometimes cool tones clash with me a little bit but I still think it's cute. I wanted the purple because it was you know purple so kind of like feminine for a t-shirt I guess. Um, this is the back. Yeah I think it's cute. I definitely think it's cute enough. I definitely like the other one better. Like if I had to rate the other one, I would give the other one like maybe a four out of five. And this one I would give like a three out of five, I guess. They're both good though. The only reason I would give the other one a four out of five and maybe not a five is just cause like, it's not overwhelmingly great. Like it's not my favorite t-shirt and piece of clothing I've ever bought, but it's like really good though. I don't know. Okay. So the next brand we're gonna try out is called Elevated Faith. I haven't opened this package at all. I've had these packages for like three weeks now. Just been wanting to open them. Um, this packaging definitely already is much better. It has branding on it. What does it say? It says, hello, I'm what you've been waiting for. So that's cute. Like, yes, it has their Instagram. So their packaging definitely like, I would give it like a four out of five. Whereas like the other one, the In Him Apparel, I'd give like a one out of five. Oh, and for the two In Him Apparel shirts, I paid... $28 for this one that I'm wearing and $28 for the other one that I'm wearing. So they're kind of expensive t-shirts. Like I ended up paying uh, $42 and then $49 with like shipping and stuff. So $50 for two t-shirts basically. Kind of a lot, but I don't know. I like them. I think they're nice. Okay. So these are the other t-shirts i'm so excited yeah so it doesn't come in bags like the other ones came in but i kind of like that because i feel like the bags i'm just gonna throw them away and it's like a waste of plastic whereas these ones are just folded nicely on top of each other i got three from this brand um and it comes with like cute little cards and stuff see like if they would have thrown a card in the other one i feel like that would have just gave it a little bit more of like appreciation you know i feel like when you order from a small business you just want like a little bit of those details and then i got a little booklet too it says elevate your faith on the back elevated faith Oh, because they sent me a piece of jewelry for free. So, because I ordered three t-shirts, I got, like, a free um, piece of jewelry. It has, like, a little story about their business. See, that's good branding. Like, now I could read this and be like, oh, my gosh. I support their mission and stuff. It gives that a little bit of connection. So, branding-wise, yeah, they're winning. This, like, free jewelry, though, I didn't want. I tried to, like, delete it out of my cart because it's free, you know, but it just kept adding on. It's these little, like, 
twisty tie bracelet type things like they're real just childish to me <laughs> not my style at all nothing I will ever actually wear but maybe I'll give them away or something but they say WWJD which you know it's like what would Jesus do and I I think that's cute so I'll probably give it to my church and if they want to give it to the children they can okay so the first t-shirt ooh, these are much softer already like like I said these are kind of coarse these are soft and this brand elevated faith it had more like women's clothing whereas like this brand in him I don't think it really had like a women's section it was mostly like unisex um, which is fine like either way but yeah, so these are really soft. Again, I got everything in a size unisex small. So every t-shirt is the size unisex small. Oh yeah, this is so nice. I love the softness of the material, but it still hangs like in a good way. It's not like clinging and like showing your rolls and weird spots. I think it's the perfect size. I love it. I love it so much. Five out of five <laughs> already. I like it because it's kind of girly, but it also says Jesus is king. Like, so it's got a bold statement, but it kind of blends in well so it's really not like super forward in your face it's kind of again one of those things where you double take and you're like oh wait jesus is king <laughs> but i love it it's very very soft i love it i love it so much i think it looks so good i would wear this to my little like woman's group that i go to i would wear this to church i would wear this anywhere i would wear this to sleep in like this shirt can get you through an entire life <laughs> so i like it this is the second to last shirt. Okay, we're almost done. It is a dark gray and it says transformed with a butterfly. I think it's really cute. I think the font and how they do that is really cute. The transformed is kind of pink. I don't know if it's showing up. And then the butterfly is kind of like a nudie, like a yellowy nude color again. So it's pretty cute. This shirt is definitely not soft like the other one. It's definitely more comparable to like the first two shirts that I tried on from the other brand. Um, I give this one like a 3 out of 5. I think it's cute because it has a butterfly, but the dark gray to me, like the butterfly is not giving enough feminine for the dark gray. Um, there's nothing on the back, but again, like the shirt itself is really good quality. The, the size is perfect. I'm sure it'll shrink down just a little bit and kind of like soften up maybe, but yeah, I give it like a 3 out of 5. Okay, this is the last shirt. It says Yahweh in black. I would really like to see a shirt that says Yeshua, which is the name for Jesus. Um, but there's a lot of Yahweh shirts. Um, so that I got this one. It's in black. And the Yahweh is actually in a gray, like a really light gray. So it kind of gives it like this faded look, kind of. <laughs> Again, it's just a basic black tee. There's nothing on the back. The size small is perfect for me. Um... This one, I, I feel like I like it more than the transformed one, the butterfly one, but still it's very basic, like very, very basic. Um, it is, again, that like rough shirt material that I think will wear really well. And I think you could wear this shirt for anything. Like you could, I feel like I would wear this as like a sleepover shirt. Like this is kind of like a last resort shirt. It's not gonna be like my first pick. Um, but I think like if I was having a sleepover, I would wear this because I love to wear black shirts to like sleepovers because you don't have to wear a bra and it still like pretty much conceals everything. Uh, you could wear this to like a baseball game. I feel like you could really do anything in this shirt, but it's definitely like a last minute shirt. It's not going to be one of my top shirts where I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear this shirt and like stunt on people and like stunt on people. Like, stunt on people. No, <laughs> um, but it's cute. Like if I didn't have anything else and I just needed something real quick to put on, this would be the go-to shirt. It looks nice though, like as I'm sitting here and if I was like doing a video or I need to talk about something, it's just like a casual like Yahweh, which means God. Um, in Hebrew, it's one of the names that they called God. I'd give it like a three out of five, just like the transform shirt and the purple in him shirt. My favorites were definitely the, definitely this shirt, the Emmanuel God with us shirt. I really like it. I really like the like symbolism that they did here, like that one painting. So this is definitely like my favorite shirt or this Jesus is King shirt. I really, really like it. Again, it's really, really soft. It's really cute and like on trend. These are definitely shirts I would wear out. Like if I have something to go to and there's gonna be people and I'm gonna be seen or like doing something, I would definitely wear these two shirts. This shirt, I definitely feel like has a vibe to it. And again, I would probably like gravitate towards this shirt more than I would these two shorts, these two shirts. Um, these two shirts that I'm wearing right now, super super casual kind of last minute 
um, just need something to throw on real quick to go to the store or go to the gym or something like that. This shirt I definitely think is my least favorite. Like it's not bad at all and I was really excited to order it when I was like looking online. But I think it's also my least favorite because it just has transformed and that could mean literally anything. Like people aren't going to look at that and be like, oh, it's a, it's a shirt for the Lord. No, but um, overall I am really happy with my purchases. The Elevated Faith, which is the last three shirts I showed you, they, for all three of them, it ended up being $50 as well. And I did get a discount code for whatever reason, either because it was my first time or because it was Memorial Day. Um, that is definitely a tip for you guys if you want to order from pretty much any brand. If it's your first time, you're probably going to get a discount. Um, or if you can wait till like a Memorial Day or Labor Day or President's Day or you know just any sort of holiday, Mother's Day, Father's Day, they usually have some sort of discount. But yeah, I'm really happy to finally have these shirts and I can actually start wearing them now. I've been waiting for this day um, and I'm going to LA this weekend so that'll be really exciting. I'll probably take one of these shirts either you know to wear or to sleep in. But I'm really happy to have something that kind of represents my faith. Like I, I think they're good conversation starters. So like so Someone might look at my shirt and they might know Yahweh, they might be a little familiar and be like, oh, like, are you a Christian? Like, what church do you go to? What do you blah, blah, blah. And we can kind of like open that dialect or people might not know what Yahweh is and ask questions about it. Or if I'm wearing like the God with us shirt, people might ask questions about it. And it just kind of like opens the door and it allows people to start the conversation for me. Like I'm somebody that thinks a lot about like evangelizing and I'm like, how do I do that? How do I like really spread the gospel and try to like, you know help people understand who Jesus is and get to know him and hopefully get saved right so it's kind of like hard whenever you're putting it on them like when you start the conversation but if they start the conversation then that just you know kind of puts the whole thing at ease and and you can kind of see where they're at so I'm really really excited to have these I do want to order for more brands and I also want to do a couple more like modest clothing hauls I think it's really fun like trying to learn how to dress modest and I really am starting to like change my relationship with clothing and, and just my appearance in general and like how I look and how I dress myself and present myself to the world and I just think it's that one thing that we can do that can kind of like set us apart because we live in a very immodest generation and like no shade no tea. Um, I was definitely dressing like that but it's just as a whole especially in America maybe not where you live but um, our relationship with the way we dress and the way we present ourselves has has such a, a different vibe. Like it's changed so much over the years, and it's very like it's become flashy and showy. And especially if you're a woman, like I'm, I'm speaking from a woman's perspective, it's kind of a lot going on, and we're easily susceptible susceptible to um, the the more exposing fashion trends right now because they're so popular like every influencer every famous person that you see like they're telling you with their choices that this is the way you should be dressing and, and blah 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 and I think you know as a normal girl who has a normal body and I'm not like surgically enhanced all over the place a lot of times that can actually like hurt us a little bit because I don't look like the way the influencers look in their perfectly edited pictures or the way celebrities look and I don't have a team of people dressing me and plastic surgeons nipping and tucking and freezing off the all the imperfections of my body so it kind of like there's like this weirdness to it and again no tea no shade I'm just kind of expressing and definitely talking too much so I'm gonna wrap it up right here thank you so much for watching leave a like leave some comments I'd love for you to subscribe I want to really grow this channel I want this to be my channel instead of like other channels that I've made in the past so okay bye Jesus loves you. I like you at least a little bit <laughs> for watching my video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, bye.